What's up? Got a Kaiser. And this would be a maybe a shorter video. This is a uh, Kaiser Cormorant. It's in uh, titanium, 20 CV steel. Well, I've got I've got a few cormorants, and I think I've I've done a few on the channel, so we don't need to dilly dally with this one, man. Let's let's just get it checked in. I did want to upgrade to the titanium version, and so there it is. We'll uh, we'll just do a check a check in check out on it. I don't need to smash all the features on it too much. If uh, you're interested in it, I mean, obviously you can find the other videos on the channel for the cormorants, and uh, hopefully I've discussed them. Oh man, is that nice? I don't think it's hard to believe that this is going to become my favorite cormorant. What's Spidey Flick it? Oh, and that's a button lock, so. So many ways to deploy these, man. You got a back flipper. You got thumb flick. You got Spidey Flick. You got a front flip. You've got the button. And it's locked up really well. I mean, let's get in it. Ooh, I think I want to reverse that. Let's see if I can. Because it's coming out on the button side. And I'm not a fan of that. Because I want that button facing down when this knife comes apart. Otherwise, you run the risk of springs flying and parts getting lost, all kinds of stuff. Mm. Yeah, not a, not a big fan of this at all. Let's see if I can push that pivot out. Feels like I can, but take some tension off of it. Oh, well, the button, the button and the spring are captured in the blade. Okay, well, I didn't remember that. But that doesn't change much because when I lift this up, that spring is going to want to be sprung. Know what I mean? Know what I mean, Vern? Anybody remember that? There it is. I was able to get all that without... Spring and sprung and uh, let's get a magnet. There it is. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe it down and then we will re lube it and uh, put it back together. There we go. I mean, it looks looks to be in pretty good shape here. It's not dirty. Seems to be lubed properly. So. That's okay. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, if it was a firearm, and it's like, eh, somebody took good care of it. I don't, you know, everything looks to be good in here. I would still disassemble it and clean it. Run through it. Check the action. You know, do the best of, that I could to make sure that, like, I would... You know, reassemble, make sure that the safety functioned properly, you know, that the firing pin looked to be in good shape, you know, basic check-in stuff. Make sure there's no obstructions in the barrel, you know, simple stuff, man. Give it a good cleaning, lube it properly. And then it would get tagged that it, it's it's never been fired by me. You know, I mean, in in my shop, I wouldn't put a tag on it because I only work with my stuff. But it would definitely fall into the category that I've never fired the the gun, and I am a little more cautious 
with a weapon that I've never fired. And so until I put it through its paces and ran the gun and fired it and handled it and saw how it ejected and, you know, all, you know, that it loaded properly, if it's a semi or even if it's a bolt action, is it chambering new rounds properly? Is it locking up properly? I don't know. I'm just ranting now. I should just stop right there. I think everybody knows what I'm talking about. All right, so one of the things I wanted to look at was can I change this to this? And I don't think, yeah, it's captured. Well, but it's it's captured. It's captured in that piece. So I'm not, why... I don't understand why it was that way. Well, I'm going to change it. Yep. I show sure am. No big deal. Not sure how it got assembled that way. tell you it begs the question if I should put a little tension on this spring because it seemed kind of on the light side just saying okay Hmm, what to do, what to do, what to do. Where'd this one go? I believe it went there. All right, I think I'm going to put just a little bit of stank on it. All I'm doing is stretching the spring just slightly. I'm not even going to measure it because I'm really not planning on doing that much to it. But I think I did stretch it a little bit. See, now that I've switched it and I'm going top down, all I have to do is line up that spring now to put this together. Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to... I just got to find it. I think I got it there. All right, let's check that button. Uh, yeah. Wow, come on, man. Tighten these other screws. And while I'm right here, let me check these pocket clip screws. Yeah, they needed just a little bit. All right, man. I think I felt a tiniest little wiggle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was definitely some room there. Let's try that. Wow. Wow, man. Come on. I do so like these cormorants and these, I mean, I passed on them for a long time and it was because of this shape right here. It's just the way it looked. I thought, man, I don't think I like that. And so I passed on this knife. I mean, years over and over and over. I just passed like, eh, it's not for me. And then I got one 
and I put it in my hand and I'm like, oh my goodness, have I been missing something? Like this little knife is so well designed. The ergonomics of this in my hand right here are phenomenal. This action, the different deployment options, the jimping. I mean, golly, this, I mean, it's got A action. The ergonomics on it are stunning. You can choke up to here to get a better grip and you can pinch grip and it's got a platform for the finger out here or you can get up here on the spine with your thumb. I mean, this thing's so versatile. Let's check this pocket clip on this frag pattern. Yeah, perfect. Look at deep carry. I mean, that's one of the deepest carries. Well, I, it's milled. But look what the, you know, it's milled in a way that, I mean, it's a legit deep carry pocket clip. Excellent tension. Standard jean size material. Yeah. I mean, 100%. If I put that there and get in a tussle, when I go to reach for it, it's going to be right where I left it. Ready for me to get it out. Come on, man. This thing. It's in 20 CV steel. I mentioned that early on in the video yeah 20 cv kaiser comrade golly this thing is so nice man uh wonder if it's sharp yeah, it needs a drop real quick i mean we're short on time but let's drop it feels like it's got a little booger a boo guy Speaking of that, I have a Boo Guy, a Kaiser Boo Guy over here that I need to check in. It's one of them older models. Man, I have my eye on a couple of older model Kaisers. And really negotiated for them. Thought I had them bought. And then the, the buyer got cold feet on me and raised the pricing. Just thought he could get more. And they're still for sale. You know, I kind of I kind of look at all this like, man, if I got a buyer, it's like selling a car. Or definitely selling a motorcycle. Man, if you're selling a motorcycle and you got somebody shows up with money, whew, I mean, that's a tough decision to keep it. Or how about a boat? I mean, if you're selling a boat and somebody wants it, man. Better get the title out. Yeah, this this 20 CV. Yeah. Come on. Golly, I like this thing. I am going to do price and availability in case you like it. Can you get one? And what do you got to pay for it if you want one? How about it? Kaiser Cormorant. Titanium frag. 20 CV steel. It's got, I don't know, five methods of deployment. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. All right. All right. Man, these singers are readily available. So new and used. You're, you're probably in the 140, 150 range. I mean, White Mountain Knives has them for... 170 and some change, but you know, use the code DM10 that's down below for White Mountain Knives. Just DM10 gets you 10% off. So 170, you get 17 bucks off of that. I mean, you're down around what? 160 bucks, brand new, titanium, 20 CV. This thing's stunning, but eBay's got a bunch of them too. I saw some used ones around 145, 150. Buy it now. There's live auctions going for them, and you know the thing with a live auction, you might get it cheaper, uh, and it doesn't hurt to throw a bid at it. Your max price, let's say your max price was 120, you throw 120 at it, and if it goes over 120, just don't buy it. You know, I mean, it'll move on to somebody else. So. I mean, but that's the game. Can you pick one up late night at a 2 o'clock closing or something? Maybe. Yeah. Kaiser Cormorant Titanium 20 CV button lock. Stunning. Man, I really like this Cormorant 
I mean, check one out. Appreciate you watching.